was talking to my kids just recently. My kids are all older now. They're either out of school or in high school. But when they were in elementary school, I was a police officer. And what I like, used to like to do when they were little, you know, kindergarten, first, second grade, and so forth, uh, I would put my uniform on and I would go into their class. When my oldest son uh, was in first first or second grade, I can't remember which one, but uh, I contacted his teacher and I said, hey, uh, you know, I'm Jared's dad and I'm a police officer, uh, and if you'd like, uh, I can come into the classroom and, and do the little, you know, officer-friendly routine. That's what we called it back then, doing the little officer-friendly routine. And it was a lot of fun, you know. You, you put your uniform on, you go into the little kid's classroom, and they ask you all kinds of questions, you know, have you ever killed anyone, you know, kind of stuff like that. But uh, I, I never had any problem with it. And when my daughter was in second grade, and I'd actually forgotten about this, but uh, my kids reminded me just recently. When my daughter was in second grade, uh, I did the same thing. I contacted her teacher, and I said, hey... I'm a police officer in the city that we live in, and if you'd like, uh, I'll come in and you know someday, and I'll do the little officer-friendly thing and talk to the kids, and and it'll be fun. And she said, "Oh, that, that'll be really neat." Well, let me talk to the principal and uh, see uh, when might uh, a good time for that be. And I said, "Okay, cool." So I, I didn't think about it for a day or two, and then uh, I get this phone call from the teacher. Or, or I get a, a note or something, I don't remember, but she wanted me to call her. So I, I called her and I talked to her and she said, um, yeah, uh, I talked to the principal and she, she said that, oh, we would really like for you to come in and we'd like for you to, to you know, talk to the kids, but mm, she was kind of concerned and we are wondering if when you came in to talk to the kids, if you could not wear your gun. Really? Let me see. Let me run this logic backwards. I am a police officer, a state certified peace officer in the state and in I work for the city where the elementary school is located. The elementary school when I'm on duty is in my jurisdiction. If anything bad happens at that elementary school, I have to go there in my little black and white car uh, with my little polyester uniform and my gun and take care of business. Okay, it is in my jurisdiction, uh, but this female principal person thought that it would be best if when I came into the school, if I could just not wear my gun. Well, if any of you have been following me for any point of time, you know my answer to that. Uh, my answer was a very polite no. The firearm is part of my uniform, and when I put the uniform on, I put the duty belt on, which includes the firearm, and I carry it with me all the time. Oh, well, I suppose if you, if you have to. And my thought process is like, or, and, and I was kind of blown away, because, and this was several years ago, this is probably 10 years ago, uh, I was blown away at the time that a, a person would think that, well, yeah, I know that you're a police officer in this city and, and you know, this isn't even in your jurisdiction, but we don't want you to wear the gun into the... What, what are you trying to tell the kids? That police officers don't have guns? Or they don't carry guns? Kids are not stupid. You walk into a classroom of seven and eight-year-olds with an empty holster, and every kid in that class is going to be like, how come you don't have a gun on, Mr. Markle? Well, because your principal is a freaking hippie. Actually, your principal is a hoplophobe. What? What is a hoplophobe? Well, Jeff Cooper, the father of modern pistol craft and the founder of Gunsight Training Academy, Jeff Cooper coined that phrase many, many years ago. I don't know if he invented it, but he used it a lot. And a hoplophobia is the irrational fear of firearms. That gun might get up off the table and kill me. Uh, I'm scared when I see a gun. I, I pee a little bit in my pants when I see a firearm. Okay, you, a lot of the people that you're dealing with today okay, are completely driven by emotion and they are hoplophobes. They have an irrational fear of that steel, aluminum, polymer, wood combination that goes bang occasionally. They just, like I said, they see one and they tinkle a little bit in their, little, in their panties uh, when they see it. So... Uh, hoplophobia, if you've never heard of that before, okay, uh, 
put that one in your hat and take it with you. But the reason I brought this up, obviously, is because of what, what happened in Connecticut uh, in December, in mid-December. And I got a question for all you hippies out there, all you liberals out there, all you principals out there who don't think the police officer should wear his gun when he comes to talk to the children. What if there would have been a dad, a dad like this dad right here, visiting doing the officer friendly in the second grade classroom with his gun on that day when Johnny Dipshit walked into the building? You think it might have turned out a little bit differently? Oh, conversely, what if the dad said, okay, I won't wear my gun so no, so that you hippies don't tinkle in your pants. It's not the kids. Kids know that cops carry guns. Okay, they've got that. And if the cop doesn't have a gun, the kid be like, how come you don't have a gun, Officer Markle? Okay, so what, what if the cop would have been in there, the, the little Susie's dad is doing the officer friendly, but he doesn't have his gun because you didn't want him to bring it in there because guns are bad and scary. When Johnny Dipshit walks in and starts shooting the place up and you're like, Officer, officer, go run and throw your body in front of the bullets. We don't know you don't have a gun. You can't stop him. Okay, how about you think about stuff like that? And the same people that put their religion, their anti-gun religion, above and beyond the safety of the children, those are the people that are responsible, okay? So, from you to me, watch out for them hoplophobes. And, for all things student of the gun, go to studentofthegun.com. Thank you.